One of my favourite things to do in Prehistoric Kingdom is to take photos of the dinosaurs and mammals. So in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. So here we have the Smilodon and all you have to do is go over to this screenshot mode button or F2 on your keyboard and you can see instantly there is an awesome picture of our Smilodon. Now, to achieve this, I'm going to go through all the settings here. So depth of view up at the top is basically it scrolls in and out depending on how close that you want up to your smiled on there. Camera roll basically turns it from left to right, so if you wanted it upside down or a little bit of a strange pose, then go ahead and do that. I tend to have mine set at zero. Letterbox is if you want that cinematic effect, so we're just going to take that off. Exposure there is the lightness and darkness of your picture. So if you wanted something kind of moody with like a cinematic effect, that looks pretty good if I do say so myself. So again, we're going to take that off and we're just going to put that down to zero because I like it in the middle just to start off with. Time scale, this is a cracking feature. So if we move this, it just makes our Smilodon move. See that? So now it's changed position. It is fantastic if the Smilodon is in a pose that you're not too sure if you like or not. So there we go, we can kind of move it about now and you see it's, it's kind of looking down at the lens of the camera, which is pretty cool. Again, you can zoom in just by doing W and S on your keyboard. Or again, if, if you think that actually I want the whole Smilodon looking down the camera, then, you know, go ahead and do that. So that's your time scale. So your, your Smilodon will move about. Now, down at the bottom here, we've got rule of thirds. So technically, I always have mine turn on. And the reason for this is because I really like to get cinematic approach to my photos. So the rule of thirds basically means that try to keep anything within third of the photo just to give it a little bit more breathing space around the side so for instance i've got mine set up right now that these boxes are clear and you could do the same that if you wanted um you know something that's absolutely dead on you know you could have the top ones kind of clear as well it is really really useful depending on what you're trying to achieve so we're just going to go for that for just now so we've got these boxes here clear and uh, it's a really interesting pose. Now, to get rid of this section here, we can obviously turn that off and then press insert on your keyboard and that will remove that option for the box. So to get that up again, press insert and there it is. Now, this is the really fun part of taking photos. So down here, we've got the environment. So you can play about with the time of day if you wanted to make it like a nighttime shot. Obviously, our smiled on is in the dark there. We can see the moon is coming in as well. If you did have light within your game, it would actually help you a lot more. So if I was to come out of this, pop a light somewhere on the top of my Smilodon, um, let's see if I can actually just go away and do that. So here we go. I've got a ring light here and I'm just going to put that up at the top and hopefully everything is all powered up. Okay, so I've got my light here. What you can do in this as well is you can go away and give it a, an interesting colour. So we can go for an orange or a red. I particularly think that the red works quite well for the dinosaurs. I think maybe orange would work quite well with our Smilodon to kind of highlight the orange in it. its fur. So there we go. We've got a, a light set up there. Let's try and get back into to where the Smilodon was. So yeah, that's... That's quite interesting. So you got that really nice texture coming in with the light, which is absolutely fantastic. If we take the light away, it definitely wouldn't look like this at all. So again, I've put my max exposure up. I quite like this picture of the smile on. It's a bit dark, it's a bit moody. So I'm gonna just take a picture. So you just do enter and there you go. That's your photo done. Now, like I said before, if you wanted all this away, just press insert and then you can decide actually I want it to be a little bit more you know faced on and again from there you can just press enter on your keyboard and it'll take a nice photo of the Smilodon. Now the other thing is I have blurred this out and what you do by that is going on to your effects here and you can focus in so you can see the background there the trees are coming in at the bottom and if you wanted them to be blurred out you just move this down so now you can see that the ears and the front of the face is now in focus but the back is not in focus so you can just play about with that down here 
is bloom, which actually works better in daylight. So we're going to change the day. Let's just say something maybe like that. And then that's my blur, how much I want it to blur by. So I can like completely blur everything out and just have the smile on and focus if I wanted to. And then the bloom here, which I'll just take that back off a bit. It basically means where the sun is. So you can see it gets like a little bit hazy around the ear because that's where the most of the light is coming in. And then vignette means it's got this dark black circle around it. So you can take that completely off. You can add just a little bit to your corners there. Basically that is to try and focus your eye in on the picture and just have our smile on in focus as well. Now to take a photo, as I said, enter on your keyboard and then to find your photos. So this is my Steam account here. So when you go up to Prehistoric Kingdom and you go down to manage and then browse local files. So it's opened up your folder here and you go to Prehistoric Kingdom underscore data. And then from here you go to screenshots and then that's going to open up all your screenshots and you can see I have way too many. And then down at the bottom is all your photos. So you can just go ahead and click through them to figure out what your best one is. If you find this video useful, then give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from Prehistoric Kingdom, then click subscribe. Until next time, take care.